Hi, in today's lesson we are going to be taking a look at how you change the app name and the app icon that displays at the top of the Facebook timeline when you install a new app or add a new tab to your Facebook page. So these are the apps at the top. By default you tend to have the photos and likes on display but when you add a new application this is where people will be able to access them. Quite often third party applications have a default icon that doesn't really fit with your brand identity. So you want to make a little change to it. Be aware that the app icon size is 111 pixels by 74 pixels. So to make changes to these icons, first of all go to the drop down menu on the right and you'll get to the expanded row. It's important that you do that because you don't get access to the app icon settings if you don't. Then once you've done that, hover over the icon you wish to change and you'll see the edit option in the top right hand corner. Then click on the edit settings option from that list. When the dialog box pops up, you'll be given the option to remove the tab if you choose to, or you can rename the tab or change the tab image. It's worth noting that if you do choose the remove option, it doesn't delete the application from your page entirely. It just removes it from display to visitors of your page. Now if we want to change the name of the tab, we can just go to the custom tab name and make the changes that we wish. And then click save. And then to change the tab image, we need to click on the custom tab image change option. This brings up a new tab within our browser. From here we can see the existing tab icon and on the right hand side we see change. Click that and we get a new dialog box. The new dialog box tells us once again that the image size is limited to 111 pixels by 74 so if you upload a larger image it will be resized and converted. Also note that the file size limit is 5 megabytes. Now choose the image that we wish to add. And notice how the dialog box has disappeared. At this stage it seems like there's no option to save or go anywhere else. This caught me off guard the first time I used it. So I just close that tab and once I come back to the old tab with the tab settings on I just click OK and then I have my nice new icon with my new tab name. It's done it all for me. That's it. Thank you very much. See you next time.